Now that report comes as Georgia Senators Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff secured $900,000 to help theaters and nonprofit organizations across Georgia recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. One of those nonprofits, the Macon Arts Alliance. Ramey Cohen joins us in studio to tell us more about that organization's needs. Frank, the funding comes from the American Rescue Plan passed last March. According to a survey from Americans for the Arts, Georgia arts organizations saw more than $16 million worth of loss because of the pandemic, and that includes the Macon Arts Alliance. At the beginning of the pandemic, we did we closed for the month of April. Julie Wilkerson is the executive director of Macon Arts Alliance. She says they did not have a curator for all of 2020. This position is very important. A lot of what she does is goes out and finds new artists and what's who's in the community that we want to showcase, that we want people to meet and say, hey, this is somebody really cool who's doing some really cool stuff. At the peak of the pandemic, Macon Arts Alliance had to cancel their biggest fundraiser, Fired Works. It's one of the largest exhibits of its kind in Georgia. It features 40 to 50 ceramic artists and brings in about 1,500 people. Foster support for the arts and the way that you do that is to bring people in and expose them to this sorts of, these sorts of uh, work. And $70,000 in art sales. When we say fundraiser, we're selling other artists' work, and that's how they make a living. But the mission of the Arts Alliance extends beyond the artist and into the community. We've done a lot of work in East Macon. We're starting to do some work in the Bloomfield area. Creativity can be used to um, help keep kids out of trouble, to give them a positive self-image, to prevent violence, help children realize their inner creative self. I think any form of creativity is important and can help with your self-esteem. The funding for the Make an Arts Alliance Gallery will go primarily towards the curator position and associated operating and marketing expenses for two years. Back to you, Frank. All right, thank you, Ramey. This month, the Arts Alliance is putting together a Black History Showcase featuring established and emerging artists who work in a variety of media.